We are here in Fairfield, Connecticut at Sacred Heart University, having the opportunity to get to know Gordon Hill and why he should play in the NFL. I'm Cortland Bragg. Let's take a look. Hill has been very impressive in his workouts and has several meetings scheduled with NFL teams. The South Jersey native is another one of those local guys to keep an eye on during the upcoming draft weekend. After months of getting ready for today, he says he's glad it's finally over. Sacked by 28, Gordon Hill. 28, Gordon Hill. Who is Gordon Hill and why do you deserve the opportunity to play in the NFL? The thing that really separates me from everybody else, I hate to lose more than I like to win. And that's really it. I mean, I know a lot of players, I know they, they might think about individual accolades and things like that. That's not me. I just hate to lose. I mean, literally, whatever it takes. If they need me on kickoff, they need me on punt, they need me on uh, you know, any type of special teams, defense. Hey, offense, you know. <laughs> I know I'm not always the guy, but whatever it takes, you know, whatever whatever the, co the coach asks for, uh, I'm, I'm willing to do. I play defensive back, I play corner, safety, free safety, outside linebacker, middle linebacker, defensive end. Many of your teammates here at Sacred Heart refer to you as Clark Kent, where off the field, you rock the studious glasses, you're more reserved than a suave guy, but on the field, you turn into a superman mood, where you're resilient, tough, aggressive, emotional. Is this some type of alter ego? Uh, I guess some would say, and I, I guess you could call it that, uh, a lot of my teammates, they definitely say after I take my glasses off, things change. Um, off the field, I'm, I'm, I'm really just laid back, uh, calm, cool, collected. Even before pregame, a lot of people don't know, sometimes my coaches will come up to me and say like, gee, you ready for the game? Because I'm so calm. But that's just what I do. Um, I'm not a real big rah-rah type of guy. Um, but once the first kickoff happens, things change. From a leadership standpoint, Gordon has definitely been the most impactful person I've seen. I've never seen a guy play with the passion and the intensity of a Gordon Hill. What would making it to the NFL mean to you? Um, well, that's been my dream. That's been my dream since I was five, since I really knew what football was. And I almost look at it like, if I stop playing football at this point, it's like taking away something you love. Everybody has lost a loved one. You all know what that feeling is like. And that's what football is to me. If, if it stopped right now, it'd be tough for me. <laughs> I want to see if I can keep going, you know? We don't really get to choose our dreams, to be honest with you. I think a dream is something that's just gathered in our minds naturally. You're not born with this. You're not born with this. But as a kid, you, you've gone through certain experiences that you say, you know, this is what I really like. And then when you really start to like something, you start to really love something. And after you've surpassed loving something, that's really your dream. Your dream. Statistics say that only 7% of college football players will ever get the opportunity to play in the NFL. The odds are truly stacked against you. What is your response to this? I know the numbers, I know the statistics, I, I, I know it's hard. Um, yes, I came from a 1AA school and yes, the odds are set against me, but that's a challenge. As a football player, if you're not up for a challenge, then why are you playing? A opponent every week is a challenge, right? You just gotta be prepared for them. That's why we watch film. That's why we study our playbook. The same difference. This is just now, just be prepared for this opportunity. I mean, in my head, I remember I have the same fifth grade teacher as Ron Dane. And I remember seeing him in fifth grade and saying, oh, wow, well, Ron Dane, you know, he's he's killing it. He just won the Heisman at Wisconsin. And I'm thinking like, wow, we played on the same Little League fields and we went to the same classrooms and played in the same parks. So for me, I just want to be that same motivation for the next kid. You are about to leave a legendary career here at Sacred Heart University. What do you hope that people will remember about you. How do I want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a gentleman off the field and a beast on the field. That's it. It's just, I've just been working as hard as possible uh, for my moment and, and you know, hopefully everything works out. <laughs>